Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So let us discuss the circuit element models in the S domain using uh, Laplace transform. So we have uh, three basic circuit elements: resistance, inductor, and capacitor. Right. So for each of these three elements, we will uh, derive the equivalent models in the S domain. So for the resistor, this is easy. For the resistor, we know that in time domain, V of t is equal to R multiplied by I of t, right? Voltage and current are given in the time domain. So if we take the Laplace transform of both sides, then using the linearity property, this will be V of s is equal to R multiplied by I of s. So relationship remains the same. Resistor remains the same, resistance remains the same, only that the voltage and the current are transformed into the uh, frequency domain. So, say if we have this representation of resistance in the time domain with this current IFT flowing here, then the equivalent model in the frequency or S domain will be the same just that this V of t will now be replaced by V of s, this I of t will be replaced by I of s and this will be R. So for the resistor this is quite easy and same. For the uh, inductor and capacitor uh, we are going to use the time differentiation property of the Laplace transform. Time differentiation right so the time depreciation property according to this property if uh, the Laplace transform of f of t is equal to f of s then the Laplace transform of df by dt the first derivative is equal to s multiplied by this f of s minus the value of f at time 0 negative right in the time domain so the time differentiation property uh, as we know the relationship between voltage and current for the inductor and capacitor in the time domain uh, is based upon uh, the first derivative so we are going to uh, use this derivative uh, this uh, differentiation time differentiation property to express the circuit element models for the inductor and capacitor in the uh, frequency or s domain so just note that the differentiation process here is uh, reduced to simple multiplication here right s multiplied by f of s uh, this calculus operation is uh, reduced to an algebraic operation here so let us now just uh, derive the relationship for so the for the case of an inductor we know that the relationship in the time domain between the voltage and current is given by v of t is equal to l di by dt right and uh, uh, we could just uh, express it the represent it like this this is the inductor L here and this is uh, for example the voltage V of T here and this is the current I of T flowing here right so uh, now if we take the Laplace transform on both sides and then use this uh, time differentiation property taking the Laplace transform of both sides Uh, we get V of s the volt the transform for V of t is represented as V of s is equal to L and now the Laplace transform this uh, differential di by dt so this is s i of s where i of s is the Laplace transform of i right so s i of s minus i 0 negative the value of the current at time 0 negative. 
So uh, uh, this can be further written as V of S is equal to S L I of S minus L I zero negative. So note that this is a voltage here, right? So this must be a voltage term and this must be a voltage term and this is current here, right? So this thing uh, uh, multiplied here is uh, the uh, corresponding impedance in the S domain. So um, we can uh, make use of uh, this uh, uh, equation to represent the inductor in the frequency domain. But note that uh, uh, we have two terms here. One this term and the second one this one. So th this is a voltage term which is uh, 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 I multiplied by this impedance SL. This is a voltage term and this is this voltage this voltage term is due to the initial current in the inductor. So this is also a voltage term and uh, this is due to the initial current uh, in the inductor. So if I uh, zero negative is a zero this will reduce to zero. But if there is an initial current so this term will be present and this will be represented by a voltage source in series with uh, this uh, this uh, th this impedance. So we can represent uh, uh, the inductor uh, for example like this. Right? This here. So this is uh, V of S and this is SL. This is I of S. So IFS multiplied by this SL, this gives us this term and this is a negative sign here. So uh, the polarity is like this. So this is this source is LI0 negative. And this voltage source appears here in the S domain due to the initial conditions of the inductor. So the Laplace transform takes care of the initial conditions uh, automatically. Right? So. Um, uh, we can further uh, write it in another uh, we can uh, take the L common here and uh, it can be written like this V over L V S over L is equal to S I of S minus I zero negative right and then uh, we can write this S I is equal to V over L plus I zero negative. So I is equal to so I is equal to V over SL plus I zero negative divided by S. This is voltage divided by the impedance. This gives us current. This is a current here and this term is a current. This term is a current. Right. So these are two uh, currents. So, uh, in another way, uh, we can in another way we can represent the inductor in the time domain using this equation also. So, if we use this equation, then the representation is so. This is I. 0 negative over S. This is SL. This is V of S and this is I of S. Right? So this V divided by this SL gives us uh, this term here and this uh, current source in parallel with uh, uh, this inductance, inductor uh, impedance gives us this uh, term here, right? So, uh, when we are going to transform a circuit from the time domain to the S domain using Laplace transform, so we can use either this configuration or this configuration uh, depending upon the convenience. If we find the convenient, uh, it convenient uh, that we use this uh, model, we can use this model. Uh, otherwise, if we are going to, for example, use nodal analysis and we uh, 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 the, the position of the inductor in a capacitor uh, is represented this way, and if we find using this model, we can use it on the uh, use use this representation. Both are equivalent. We can use any any one of them depending upon the convenience. 
Uh, and note that if the initial condition is zero, for example, if i zero negative is zero, then this term will appear. This will disappear. This will be shorted. And uh, uh, in this case, this will be removed. So in that case, it will be simply an inductor, right? Like this here, and this will be SL, and this will be VFS, and this is IFS, if the initial condition is zero. But if, the, if there is an initial current, then we have to use this or this model to represent the inductor. Uh, likewise, uh, for the case of the capacitor, uh, it can be uh, in the time domain, the relationship between inductor, uh, between the current and the uh, voltage for the capacitor is given by I is equal to C dV by dt. And if we use the Laplace transform, then I of S is equal to C. So this will be SV minus V0 negative using the time differentiation property. So that will be equal to IFS equal to SCV minus uh, CV0 negative. So we can use uh, 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 this uh, uh, property to represent the capacitor in the frequency domain. So normally uh, in the time domain the representation of the capacitor will be something like this. This is for example V of t, this is I of t flowing here and this is the capacitance C. So uh, using this equation we can represent it like this. Uh, note that this can be uh, this IF, uh, IF this is a current term and this is a current term also right so we can write it V over 1 over SOC minus C V 0 negative so uh, this is voltage divided by the impedance the capacitive impedance capacitive reactance right so uh, we can uh, write it like this uh, we can present it like this we have uh, this capacitor here and this source here is represented using this current this term here is represented using this current cv0 negative and uh, this is uh, 1 over sc and this is v of s and this is the current I flowing here, IFS. So this is the one model that we can use for the capacitor in the S domain. Uh, and we can uh, again rewrite this equation uh, in terms of V here. Uh, we can bring this V this way and we can rewrite it another way so that we can use uh, 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 a capacitor in series with a voltage source uh, like this model here. So for example, uh, we can rewrite it uh, VSCV SCV is equal to I I and plus CV0 negative right and we can then write V is equal to I over SC plus uh, C cancels out so V0 negative over S. So using this uh, uh, model, uh, using this uh, equation we can uh, model it another way. So then in this case the representation of the capacitor in the S domain is like this with the help of a voltage, initial voltage source here. So this is a uh, 1 over SC so this is the voltage term right I multiplied by this impedance the impedance is 1 over SC and this uh, is a voltage term also so this voltage term is V0 negative over S so this is IFS here and this is here so again uh, the capacitor also can be represented in two ways the one way to represent the capacitor is uh, this 
uh, a capacitor in, in parallel with this current source or a capacitor in series with the voltage source whenever we whenever we're going to use the voltage source this is going to be in series either if it is capacitor inductor or capacitor and whenever we're going to use uh, an, uh, an a current source this is going to be in parallel whether it is a uh, uh, inductor or a capacitor right and, uh, and note that if the initial conditions are zero then uh, uh, the model reduces to the simple uh, capacitor uh, uh, with the voltage across it and the current flowing through it and likewise the model for the inductor also reduces to a simple inductor with a voltage across it and the current flowing through it. So uh, uh, basically it will be better if we discuss the impedance uh, uh, of the uh, elements in the S domain. Uh, or we describe the models if the initial conditions are zero. So if the initial conditions are zero, there is no current initial current flowing through the inductor or there is no voltage across the capacitor at the beginning, then uh, the, the relationship for the current or resistor remains the same because uh, the initial conditions uh, are not accounted for here or there are no additional conditions in the case of a resistor so Vs is equal to R I of S so for the resistor this remains the same for the case of inductor uh, this equation here this term disappears right so we have SL multiplied by I only this term disappears so Vs is equal to S L multiplied by IFS right and for the case of capacitor we have VFS is equal to uh, yes this this term will uh, disappear because there is no addition condition so this will be I over SC so from these uh, uh, from these uh, 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 equations, we can derive the impedance in the frequency domain in the S domain uh, for the three circuit elements. So the impedance in the S domain. The impedance is basically defined as uh, in the S domain is. Uh, defined as the ratio of voltage transform to the current transform so, right so in this case for the case of resistor so the, the V of S over I of S or the impedance of the resistor is simply R. For the case of the inductor, so V over I or ZL, the impedance of the resistor is equal to S multiplied by L. If we take V I, I here, V over I, this will be SL and for the C, this will be V over I is equal to the impedance of the capacitor or the capacitor uh, reactance is 1 over SC. So, these are the impedances uh, of the circuit elements in the S domain and these are the circuit element models that we are going to use when we are going to transform a circuit from the time domain to the S domain using Laplace transform.